poverty crazy at gcse welcome back to crazy at gcse for those of you who are new to my channel hi this is crazy at gcse where you can study seven i gcse subjects at one place the subjects include business economics accounts biology physics maths esl solve past papers paper structures and tips so here is igcse at your fingertips please subscribe and like absolute poverty so this is when people are not able to afford like the basic necessities which is required to live like food water health care shelter and this is measured by the number of people living below a certain income and this is called a poverty line relative poverty condition of having fewer resources than others in the same society and it is measured by the extent to which a person's or household's financial resources fall below the average income level in the economy relative poverty is basically a measurement of income inequality since a high relative poverty should indicate a higher income inequality so here there are only two types of poverty absolute poverty is when people are not able to afford the basic necessities relative poverty is when people can afford the basic necessities but are still lower in income or uh, having fewer resources than others in the same society the causes of poverty first it is unemployment so if there is unemployment people are unemployed they will have to go without an income for a long time and this will end up in having to sell their possessions which means their personal assets that will lead to them consuming less products that will cause poverty low education levels if people are uneducated then they will have less skills and experience which will lead to them not getting a job in the future and if they're not able to get good jobs that will keep them in poverty the size of family more family members with few people earning means cost means more cost of living so that will pull the family into poverty if they are not earning much age older people are likely to have more health problems and be less suitable for further un, for further employment which means they will not get pays and that will cause poverty young people are still employable and might find ways to earn an income then it is poor government support for basic services poor health so if the health care facilities in the country is not good that will lead to more health problems and that will cause and result in poverty as more money will go in the treatments overpopulation high population will cause a uh, scarcity of resources now if there are scarce resources then people may not be able to um take advantage of products and that's why there will be less production and that will cause poverty minority group ethnicity migrants there will be discrimination from employers and the society and that may not be able to access and enjoy all services gender women usually face discrimination especially in the in the employment field and they will end up being poorer than men now let's look at the policies to reduce unemployment so first it is introduce measures to reduce unemployment so this can be um expansionary fiscal monetary or uh, expansionary fiscal policy or monetary policy which will increase the government's spending reduce the interest rates reduce the tax rates increase money supply that will lead to increased aggregate demand which will cause an increase in employment opportunities and then the income and the standards of living will rise as the disposable income of people will rise then imposing progressive taxes the progressive taxes are basically income taxes and progressive taxes means when income rises the tax will rise now that will help in, uh, increase equality in the income as there will be an increase in incomes if the income increases then more taxes more income taxes will be taken which means that the income tax revenue will increase now the high incomes will pay a large percentage of their income as a tax and that income tax revenue which will be used by the government will be used to distribute the income from rich to poor and that will help reduce relative poverty introducing welfare services so the money from the taxes can be provided as an income support 
to people with very low incomes and it can be used to provide free or low cost homes or it can also be provided for education and healthcare introducing a minimum wage so that will raise the wages of the low paid employees and that will also motivate them to work harder which will increase efficiency reduce costs increase supply increase the aggregate demand that way it will also increase the demand for workers which will increase the wage increasing the quantity and quality of education so if there is better quality and quantity of education people will be more skilled they will have more experience and that will uh, lead to more uh, the probability of them getting a better job that will increase that will help them get a good amount of income and that they'll be able to live a good life with good living standards that will reduce poverty attracting and inviting inviting inward investments so from firms abroad to provide jobs and incomes for people as the multinational companies may provide better wages and better working conditions which will reduce poverty overseas aid so this can be gained from the foreign governments and aid agencies it is this will include a uh, help of food financial aid technological aid loans and debt relief so this is the end of our video i hope you understood the topic and found this useful thank you for watching crazy ngcse and please do subscribe and like